Hey everyone, it's Danielle from CFB Edmonton. Today I'm going to be taking you through an interval style workout. Hang tight as we go through our disclaimer first. In response to COVID-19, PSP is offering telefitness to Canadian Armed Forces members. By using social media platforms, the telefitness classes tailored to the Canadian Armed Forces personnel become accessible to all. Prior to participating in this session and to make an informed decision on whether you should seek advice from a qualified exercise professional or healthcare provider, consult the Get Active questionnaire of the Canadian Society of Exercise Physiology and its reference document simply by clicking on the links below. By continuing with this telefitness class, you understand that there is a possibility of physical injury and you agree that you do so voluntarily at your own risk. You also assume all risk of injury and agree to release the Canadian Forces Morale and Welfare Services from any and all claims related to your participation in this telefitness class. Here's the format of today's workout. We are going to start with a five minute general warm up with some muscle activation prior to getting into the bulk of the session. Round one is going to be an extension of the warm up and an opportunity to familiarize ourselves with the exercises and establish our rep schemes. Round two and three take seven minutes each to complete and we will finish it up with a five minute cool down. Total duration of today's workout will be 30 minutes. Let's start with our general warm up and muscle activation. We are going through the following exercises. These rep schemes are just a guide, so feel free to increase or decrease reps as you see fit. If there are other dynamic movements you want to incorporate into your warm up, please do. Let's get started with the world's greatest stretch. Starting in a low lunge position, contract through glute to push hips forward. Reach up with the opposite arm. Bring hand down on the inside of foot and use hamstring to lift knee off the ground on the back leg. Rotate towards bent knee and reach up with the opposite hand. Bring hand down and shift weight back, straightening out the front leg for a hamstring stretch. Hold each position for one to three breaths. Flow through each transition. Start in a seated position with both knees pointed up towards the ceiling. Maintaining a neutral spine, externally rotate through one hip and internally rotate through the opposite hip. Contract through the glute on the externally rotated side and drive knee into floor. Lean chest forward. Hold for five seconds or one to three breaths and then transition slowly to the opposite side and repeat. Start in a quadruped position. Extend one leg out to the side with toes pointed forward. On that same side, place a hand on the back of the head. Rock weight back slightly into hips to get a lower body stretch. Rotate through your thoracic spine and open elbow out to the side. Using a wall as an assist, stand facing it with hands gently resting. Initiate movement through the hip and perform a hinge pattern by bringing upper body forward as you extend hips back. You should feel a slight stretch in the hamstring. Return back to standing. Laying on your back, extend arms up, keeping knees bent and feet off of the floor. Contract through core and drive your lower back into the ground. Lower opposite arm and opposite leg towards the floor without breaking core and back position. Lift up into the top of a push-up position. Protract and retract through the scaps, squeezing them together towards the ceiling, then returning them back towards the floor. Keep arms fully extended and core activated, maintaining neutral spine. Start in a quadruped position. On the inhale, extend spine and bring tailbone up towards the ceiling and chest forward. As you flex through the spine, exhale and initiate movement from bottom up. Try to segment your spine by tucking the tailbone under first, then gradually flex through the rest of your vertebrae with your neck being the last piece to flex, bringing your chin in towards your chest. Perform at a slow, controlled tempo. This workout is performed as a every minute on the minute style session. We want to try to aim for a shorter work interval and a longer rest period. For this particular workout, we want to aim for 15 seconds of work followed by 45 seconds of rest, giving us a one to three work to rest ratio. Before we get started, there are a couple things we need to do to set up. First, we are going to select our exercises. Choose five exercises of various movement patterns. Because this style of workout has such short intervals, we can get away with choosing more complex and more metabolically demanding exercises. 
Here is a list of exercises I will be performing in this session. Sandbag cleans, up and downs, or modified burpee variation, sandbag shoulder pass, lateral jumps with burpees, and mountain climbers, followed by a time interval of recovery jogging. We want our recovery jog at the end to be longer than our total time spent working throughout the rounds. You'll notice I don't have any reps listed yet. We will find these out in our first round. We're going to use the first round as a familiarization period and an extension of our warm up. We will perform as many reps as we can in a 15 second time period and then rest for a full 45 seconds. We are moving with a sense of urgency, but our reps should still be controlled. Make sure you count your reps during this familiar period. This helps determine how many reps we are going to be performing for rounds two and three. Equipment needed for this session is just a sandbag and some kind of interval timer or stopwatch. Our first exercise on the list is our sandbag cleans. So let's start the timer for 15 seconds and see how many reps we can do in that time interval. Ready, three, two, one, go. Be sure you are using your hips to help Force the sandbag up as opposed to only lifting with just the arms. Try to link your reps together. Keep the sandbag close to your body. We're going to rest here for a full 45 seconds. How many sandbag cleans did you complete in that short period of time? Be sure to record it somewhere so you know exactly how many reps to do for our rounds two and three. Next exercise we're going to be performing is our up downs or some kind of modified burpee variation. Use this rest period to get set up for your next exercise and grab a sip of water. Take big deep breaths to try to slow your heart rate down. Try to stay in an upright position and avoid lying down on the floor. Let's get set up for our next exercise. Ready in three, two, one, go. For these up downs, be sure to lay all the way down into the prone position. Try to be quick. Keep track of your reps here. We are going to rest here for a full 45 seconds. How many up downs did you complete in that short period of time? Be sure to record it somewhere so you know exactly how many reps to do for our rounds two and three. Next exercise we are going to be performing is our shoulder to shoulder sandbag press. Use this rest period to get set up for your next exercise and grab a sip of water. Take big deep breaths to try to slow your heart rate down. Try to stay in an upright position and avoid lying down on the floor. Let's get set up for our next exercise. Ready in three, two, one, go. Start by holding the sandbag on one shoulder. Press the sandbag up overhead and bring it back down onto the opposite side shoulder. Keep your core activated and make sure you have a good grip on that sandbag. We are going to rest here for a full 45 seconds. How many sandbag shoulder to shoulder passes did you complete in that short period of time? Be sure to record it somewhere so you know exactly how many to do for our rounds two and three. Next exercise we are going to be performing is our lateral jump with burpee. Use this rest period to get set up for your next exercise and grab a sip of water. Take big deep breaths to try to slow your heart rate down. Try to stay in an upright position and avoid lying down on the floor. Let's get set up for our next exercise. Ready in three, two, one, go. Start by performing a sideways jump over your sandbag. As you land, drop down into a burpee, coming all the way prone before pushing yourself back up and jumping sideways back over the sandbag. Be as quick as possible. Try to end on an even rep so you complete the same amount of reps each side. We are going to rest here for a full 45 seconds. How many lateral jumps with burpees did you complete in that short period of time? Be sure to record it somewhere so you know exactly how many reps to do for our rounds two and three. Next exercise we are going to be performing is mountain climbers on top of the sandbag. bag. 
Use this rest period to get set up for your next exercise and grab a sip of water. Take big, deep breaths to try to slow your heart rate down. Try to stay in an upright position and avoid lying down on the floor. Let's get set up for our next exercise. Ready in three, two, one, go. Placing my hands on the sandbag, I'm going to drive my knees up towards my chest as fast as I can. Be sure to keep the core actively engaged and hips level. Try to end on an even rep so you complete the same amount of reps per side. At the end of our first round, we are going to do a quick recovery jog of 30 seconds. Feel free to jog over a course or jog on the spot. Use whatever space you have available. Use this rest period to get set up for your next exercise and grab a sip of water. Take big, deep breaths to try to slow your heart rate down. Try to stay in an upright position and avoid lying down on the floor. Let's get set up for our next exercise. Ready in three, two, one, go. Now that we've completed the first round, we have determined approximately how many reps we were able to fit in that time period. We could perform this style of workout by repeating the same time interval again, but I find that adding in a rep scheme helps set a goal and won't allow us to get tired or slack off. Even when you do get fatigued, you have to complete your total amount of reps in the given time. You do technically have a minute to complete them, but the faster you do them, the faster your heart rate will jack up and the longer your rest period is to help bring your heart rate back down, which is the goal of this workout. For rounds two and three, I have input my rep scheme into the list of exercises. At the top of every minute, I will perform the listed amount of reps and then rest during the remaining time before starting the next exercise. When I get fatigued, my reps might eat into my rest interval a bit, so I will need to push a little to get them done and that's okay. Let's start up our timers for one minute intervals and start with our five sandbag cleans. Ready, three, two, one, go. I have sped up my rest intervals for the sake of this video, but please make sure you aren't blowing through those rest intervals as they are just as important as the work ones. Let's keep on with the workout until we reach the end of round two.
Pause the video here or rewind and repeat the same exact thing for a third round. Feel free to add in a fourth round if you're feeling extra motivated. After your last and final round, be sure to perform a cool down. Gradually bring your jogging speed down to a walk, then perform a series of static or gentle dynamic stretching. For our cool down, we are going to be going through the world's greatest stretch, some spinal flexion and extension, or a cat cow, a squat stretch, and an adductor rock back stretch for two to three sets. Starting in a low lunge position, contract through glute to push hips forward. Reach up with the opposite arm. Bring hand down on the inside of foot and use hamstring to lift knee off the ground on the back leg. Rotate towards bent knee and reach up with the opposite hand. Bring hand down and shift weight back, straightening out the front leg for a hamstring stretch. Hold each position for one to three breaths. Flow through each transition. Start in a quadruped position. On the inhale, extend spine and bring tailbone up towards the ceiling and chest forward. As you flex through the spine, exhale and initiate movement from bottom up. Try to segment your spine by tucking the tailbone under first, then gradually flex through the rest of your vertebrae with your neck being the last piece to flex, bringing your chin in towards your chest. Perform at a slow, controlled tempo. Drop into the bottom of a squat. Keep your heels flat on the floor, pressing your knees out. Keep your chest up. Explore this position for three to five seconds. Start in a quadruped position. Extend one leg out to the side with toes pointed forward. Maintain a neutral spine as you gently shift your weight back. Explore this position for three to five seconds. Thanks for checking out the workout and be sure to check out PSP Edmonton on our other social media platforms.